Yeah, once again, back is the incredible DJ Matt MAD. Today, we're going to continue working with Ableton Live 12. And I'm going to be doing another Jersey Club track. I know you guys love the last video, so we're going to continue. Uh, some of you guys asked me, when am I going to go back to Cubase? My next video is going to be on Cubase, but I'm going to do this track real quick. So check this out. So I did, I did the same chord progression, but I, I just sustained it and it sounds like this. And together, they sound like this. All right, so after that, I added this, this uh, ARP that sounds like this. So basically what I'm doing, I'm just, I'm just using all the, all the same chord progression, I'm doing variation. So let me just group all these leads, let me just say. And then another switch up that I did was I took out the, the chords, the straight sustained chords, and I took out the, the, the arpeggio, the arpeggiator sound. And I added a bell that sounds like this. So if you guys want to know the sounds, I'm actually using Analog Lab on most of the uh, of the project. Uh, which the long pad is this right here, um, Brass Winds uh, Acid Brass by Analog Lab. Then the next sound, I am using Analog Lab again. Because I said to myself, you know what? I just want to do a Jersey Club track with a or analog analog lab. I'm using the strings collection, 18 OSC strings. And for the for the arpeggiator sound, I am using Analog Lab again by Keys. That's uh, I think that's the new um, um, the new sounds they added. It's called Classic June Keys. It sounds really dope, in my opinion. So, so as you see, I got the progression already made in this part right here. Oh, and uh, let's start with the 808. So I got an 808 here, which I'm going to name. Um, this sounds like this. No, I'm sorry. That's not an 808. That's, uh, that's actually a, a bass lead. And again, I'm using Analog Lab. I'm going to open it up so you can see it. It's by... Uh, bass is called the 0068T bass distorted and it sounds like this. So the next thing that I added on top of that was this uh, this percussion loop uh, from Machine that sounds like this. Check this out. This is really cool actually. I like this. So originally it sounded like this, but I'm using a, a fat filter Simplum and I just did a cutoff and then uh, raised up the, the frequency, uh, the, the resonance, I think that's what you call that, the resonance. It's kind of like in the background. I'm, I, was, I'm th I was thinking of adding a little, a little reverb there, which I'm going to do right now. So I'm going to use the fat filter uh, reverb. Where is it? If I fit the R, here we go. It's feel like it needs like a little more space. Yep, that sounds much better. So, yep, it sounds more in 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 the space. Then right after that, I was gonna go into the drop. So um, I got some vocals over here. I'm gonna run through those in a minute. Uh, if if you guys wanna know what I use for those uh. For those uh, uh, drum and bass, it's actually an expansion called Rolling Tides Expansion by Native Instruments, which is this one right here. You see it right there, uh, Rolling Tides. And it has a, a whole bunch of cool uh, drum and bass loops that kind of like goes into the whole Jersey Club thing. I'm, this is kind of like a fusion. It's not like a normal Jersey Club type of track. It's more like a modern type of Jersey Club meets uh, DMB. Um, so right after that, 
I, uh, I have to bring the 808. So I found this really, really great sounding 808 inside of Analog Lab. Of course, inside of the bass uh, catalog. And it's called 0048T Bass Kicker. And it sounds like this. Um, let me just uh, select it. Okay. Yep, sounds like this. So. Oof. And, and, and it, the thing is that it, it sounds so good. It translates so well in, uh, in, fl in, in flat speakers. I think I'm going to be using this bass a lot. Uh, I actually found it today. Uh, this is the notes that I'm playing on it. Sounds like this. And then right under that, I have another, another loop by uh, Native Instruments uh, Rolling Tides. Like you could tell right here, I actually have multiple different loops. This one is di different, this one is different, this one sounds like this. That one came just like that, it's actually a perk loop. And the next one sounds like this. Mm -hmm. It sounds so good. So together uh, with, the, uh, with the musical elements and the bass sounds like this. Sounds really good. Like if you take that uh, that drum and bass loop out, it sounds mad like basic. Watch. It still sounds cool, but I just wanted to give that drum and bass up a vibe. It's still Jersey Club because it has that uh, that kick. Yeah, it sounds cool. So now I have all these vocals down here. This is where I had some fun. I had all uh, I got all these samples from uh, Native Instruments Machine, which I still have open right here. Uh, I just have it to the side of my monitor because I have a very, very wide monitor. Monitor, okay. And let me just extend this right here. Uh, there you go. Mm -hmm. Yep, yeah, that's what we're working with. So I got these samples. Let me just open these up. I got these samples, and they sound like this. Your body. Yep, that sounds cool. Your body. Right. And then I grabbed another sample that sounds like this. Um, and this one I had uh, fun with doing. Every day, every day, every day, every day, every day, every day. All right, so that's that's what it sounds like. Every day. So I was like, ah, I need to make some sort of change with it. I want to make it sound different. So I grabbed uh, AutoTune Pro which I have it right here, and I turned it into, I, 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 actually I put the key, which is C minor. Um, and then I went into uh, graph mode, uh, like you can see right here, uh, I have the whole graphical mode, and I and I turn on the pitch so it could uh, draw the pitch, and then I drew and I changed a couple of notes. So this is the before and after. So this is before. Every day, every day, every day, every day, every day. Every day. And this is the after. Every day, every day, every day, every day, every day, every day. Right. So listen, listen to it in context. Every day, every day, every day, every day, every day. Sounds really cool, right? Every day, every day, every day. Just without it. Every day, every day. Right. With it. Every day, every day. See, sounds really cool. Just, it just has a little touch just so it doesn't sound flat. That's the that's what they call uh, ear candy. It's just I like you know little stuff. So and so in context it sounds like this. Every day. Oh, what's uh? Every day is a hustle. Every day. Every day. Every day. Every day. Every day. So I grabbed the everyday sample and I started chopping it left and right. This is left and this is right, and it sounds like this. So let's go back to the top right here. Ooh, it hits hard, it hits hard. Let me change this. I actually have this other sample. I did that on uh, a uh, uh, machine. I got some samples right here, it's like some some breath. 
That sounds really cool. Then you don't really hear it in the mix, but if you if you take it off, it kind of like is missing something. One thing that I wanted to add was a 909 uh, snare. Mm, I like that one. I'm gonna load that up right here. I'm gonna up a sequence, and I'm just gonna do a 116. <laughs> I'm, I think I still want a 909. I, it feels like it's missing about the body. I'm just gonna mix that. So I'm just gonna bring that in. Create a new sequence so that I won't play in the background. Move this out the way. Uh, let me fix the loop on this. Now nah, I could loop it. Mm, okay. So it's out. Bring it up here because I like to have my percussions all together. And I'm going to load up a Simplum. Simplum, I think. Yeah, Simplon. Simplon. That's what it's called by uh, Fat Filters. I'm bring this up. Okay, so I'm going to turn on the automation lanes. I'm going to select the, the frequency cutoff. I'm going to start right there. I want to make sure that it ends there. And I just want to bend that. Yes, and the last filter that I want to do is on the bass because the bottom side of it needs to go low. So uh, let me just open that up so I can see what's happening right here. So halfway, I'm gonna do it, and it's gonna. The resonance needs to come up a little bit. So I'll bring that up uh, right here. There you go. All right. So I'm gonna start bringing it up from here. It needs more. Yep, it's a, it's a better drop. Play from a, from a little back. I like that. So I want to bring that break right here. Um, so play like this. Yeah. Wanna bring up the, the arpeggio? Um, I wanna bring a kick. And for the kick, I wanna go into the Young Phantom uh, library. I'm gonna pick kick, cause they just have like that, that trap kick and that's what we need right here. That kick that just cuts through. Yeah. Uh, 
drums, kick, 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 right here. Mm, I kind of like that kick right there, cause I want it to. I don't want it to be the same that I always do. Boom, 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 boom. Already on C, so I want to do a different pattern. I don't want it to stay all the same. Boom, boom. Boom, 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 boom. Okay. Yep, I like that. I'm different, you know? Switch it up. Again, we're doing modern Jersey Club. We're not doing old, regular, old school. We're not doing that. That's, that's yesterday. We're doing the new Jersey Club. The new Jersey Club, but still keeping the, uh, the elements of it. I come from that era, so... I can say that, that, you know, I'm a bit educated when it comes to that. Mm, just coloring, organizing, and then put it where I want it. And I want a, a snap. Put some reverb on top of that. And it's gonna make it fit in perfectly. So automatically I should go straight to the uh to organizing my tracks because I want to make sure that everything's colored so I can so I can identify the minute I see it. Um I definitely want to bring the gain up. And I want to bring uh, Fat Filter Pro R. Hmm? Need to be a little louder. I could bring all these vocals right here. I could bring them all back. I'm go right here. And I'm gonna bring that bass again. So. So So I gotta mute all of that, so I gotta like all the leads they have to they have to go right there. Every day is a hustle. So I wanna use a boom. Um, uh, what am I doing? Do it. Gotta be on G. So. Every day is a hustle. I did it in the wrong place, but I guess just move up. Every day is a hustle. Mm -hmm. Every day is a hustle. Perfect. Turn that red. Yep, that's the boom. You already know that's what it is. Oh, gotta be red, buddy. Red. Like all the low frequency stuff, I always turn, uh, like to have it red. Right here, machine stays up there because I, I'm just sampling from there. I'm not really doing much. Let me say. Then right here, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna copy that whole drop again. Bring it over here. Every day is a hustler. <laughs> so every day is a hustle. Every day is 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 every day. 
so now right here we need to have make it big I, I need to have like a like a big synth or something so Much easier. Oh, I got lost. But I could do that last chord, which is a C, uh, a C minor inverted down. Loving it. Loving it. Hustler. See how it's And I did. What's going on here? I don't want to do that. Oh, I got the pen. So I'm going to select this and bring it up an octave. And it's going to sound like this. That's it. So you cut all of that. This one I'm gonna use a Valhalla Reaver. <laughs> it's just so easy to get to, you know. That's what it is. I think everybody uses uh, the Valhalla Reaver like that because it's just the simplicity. But I do need to uh, duplicate that. Delete this one and all of these. Because you want to add the Valhalla to that one track. Some of you may say, oh, but you, you could just uh, bounce that or, or consolidate that into, into Wave. Like, yes, I could have done that, but I have the power in my computer, so why waste time? So, then I do. Hmm, that's beautiful. So. I love that. Uh, the last thing that I normally do just to get like a, a decent mix so I can, so when I play it in my cars, you know, I can at least, it's audible. I grab all the percussive sounds and I, and I put it in a group. So I'll call them drums. Um, and the 808, where's the bass? This is a bass that I was using over here. Okay, that's bass. That's the synth bass. That's the 808. Uh, that's not the 808. Where's the 808? Oh, this is the 808. I should. You see that 808? I could keep it under the under the drums because once I add the compressor, which is going to be the pink compressor, pink compressor, compressor. What is it? Pin compressor right here. That 808 is going to come in handy. I'm going to put it on an S. No, P is fine. That's good. Um, the ratio, I'm going to put it at 4. Just to get a decent volume. The attack, I'm going to put it at 10. And the release, I'm going to put it as low as possible, which, which is 0 0.05 seconds. 
which that's pretty long, but whatever. This is not supposed to be on. There you go. Now we're good. Now we're good. I normally like putting it on uh, a gain reduction of negative four. Um, for those of you guys that don't really understand compression and, and bus compression and stuff like that, um, if you're not going for the sound, which most of the time you don't want to go for the sound, which is the pumping sound, the wah, 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 you know, you want to, you want to have control of that sound, which is that side chain type of sound. You don't want to create that sound in your bus compression. That's why you got to make sure that you have a compressor that, that actually, that's actually good. Uh, in this case, I'm using this pink compressor by Acoustica Audio. Definitely go check out Acoustic Audio. They are phenomenal. And, and, and I, just, I don't know, I just love the way this compressor just squashes everything and it still sounds musical. Yeah, I'll, do a, I'll do a before and after. This is, this is before. After. It just, it just glues everything together as it's supposed to. And the, I'm gonna do the same thing with the leads. I'm gonna put a compressor, the same thing. I'm gonna put the same compressor on the leads. Uh, turn on the pre. And I'm... I, gotta, I gotta bring in the, the input trim because um, the sound is not that loud compared to the drum. The last one that I'm going to do is for the vocals, because the vocals, they, they sound all over the place. Like you can see, the Amber Compressor resembles a very, very famous compressor from back in the day. All the rappers used to use it and all the major hits in the 90s, which is the Avalon. This is what this is. This, uh, they're trying to um, uh, replicate the Avalon. And I have to say, um, I've worked with an Avalon many, 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 many times. And this is one of the best, in my opinion, one of the best... Uh, emulations of the Avalon. Bring up the trim, the ratio. Okay, the ratio is up, and then I'm gonna bring the the threshold. I'm gonna bring in that kick just to switch it. Oh, that sounds so good. That sounds so good. I know some of you may say, oh, that's not really Jersey Club. That's more of a drum and bass. Again, this is, I'm experimenting here. Like, um, I feel that the people that are doing Jersey Club right now commercially, um, some of them have done it. Like, for example, that Nicki Minaj track is really, really cool. Um, and the guys that did it, or the guy that did it, um, he's actually from Jersey, if I'm not mistaken. Correct me if I'm wrong. But he nailed it. But then now, like always, the industry is so corny when it comes to this. Um, this, this somebody will do something, and let's say people from producers from Jersey, they will go and they'll do something they they've been doing for years, for years, and then it works. So now, what happens? The industry they want to duplicate this, but they don't go to the guys that know how to do it. They go to the the guys that never done it, and then they try to do it. And I feel that if you were trying to copy something, why copy it? Why don't you just go to the people that know how to do it? There's a whole bunch of dope uh, Jersey Club producers here in New Jersey that should be on. I mean, I consider myself one of them. Um, but uh, in this case, I'm going to take myself out of the equation I'm, and I'll speak for the rest of them. That is like, you know, if you want any coming that sound, that, 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 that sound of that song that she got popping right now, uh, that everybody song. Um, I will play it, but you know, I will get copyrighted super quick. Um, go to the guys that know how to do it. Simple as that. Go to the guys that know how to do it. Um, I, I've done a whole bunch of techno tracks. If you go to my, my Spotify channel, I got a whole bunch of tech house, uh, house music. I do everything. I even got some reggaeton stuff that, I, that I'm working on right now. Uh, right now, I'm focusing on the Jersey Club. I just want to release a couple of EPs about it. And... But I want to do something different. Like I want to, I feel like Jersey Club needs to evolve. It needs to become more musical. And this is why I'm experimenting with, you know, mixing and smashing different genres. In this case, I'm mixing and smashing drum and bass with the Jersey Club and making it sound a little more progressive. 
uh, but still having the vocal chops and, and that 808, because that 808 is crucial. And I'm still missing these uh, these uh, sounds, which I'm gonna I'm about to load up in a second. I'm, you, you're gonna know exactly what I'm talking about once you hear it. If you don't add the dirty, it's just, I don't know, it just it feels like something is missing. So I, I want that. Mute that. Alright, I wanna do like a like a drum pattern here. Jersey Club is all about being dirty. You know, it, it is what it is. It's all about being dirty. So one thing about Jersey Club, when you add those those extra hits and bombs and whatever, yes, it sounds a little like whatever, like like the, the, the bottom end is kind of like all distorted and stuff like that. Well, that's part of the sound. That dirtiness, that distortion is part of the sound. As long as, you know, try to minimize the, the distortion and stuff like that. If you go back to the Jersey Club from back in the day, like the back in the day DJs, um, they, they were... Instead of calling the Jersey Club, I call it distorted, distorted music because they would just crank that limiter all the way up and they did not care about dynamics. Um, I feel like that's the difference between now and then is that now people have more of uh, an understanding of like, you know, I need to mix this so it can have more of a chance to play on the radio. Because back in the day, I feel like one of the main reasons why Jersey Club never made it to the radio the way that it should have for two reasons. One, because the, there was no song structure good enough to be on radio and the mix all the mixes are just terrible there are like the worst mixes in the history of mixing if you are going to distort something you got to do it intentionally not because you just crank the limiter and the compressor and you peaked it to zero where it's like clipping up the ass I'm just getting the balance, you know, listening to the track and uh, just getting the vibe, see what needs to be lower or up or whatever. And the compression trying to get it right, the best that I can right now, obviously. I like where this is at right now. Ooh. 
I love it. Guys, if you enjoy these types of videos, make sure to comment below. Make sure to comment below and share. Comment, subscribe, share. Um, let me know what you want me to work on next. I'm going to keep doing, I'm going to continue to keep doing these Jersey Club videos because I, I don't know, I just think that nobody's doing them and, and I think that we should be doing them. So I'm going to continue doing these Jersey Club videos and make sure to comment, like, subscribe, um, ask whatever you want to ask. I hope you enjoy them. Uh, I got some Cubase 12 videos coming up soon. If you want me to continue doing Ableton videos, if you want me to do more Cubase videos, just say it. I know somebody commented that they want to see the Cubase video. So I'm, we're gonna, the next one, we're going to do a Jersey Club on the Cubase session. Thank you so much. I will appreciate you. If you come back, watch the previous videos right here. I think it's right here. No, it's right here. I don't know. Whatever. Somewhere. And uh, yeah, I'm out of here. Make sure to follow me on Instagram, DJ Mad, D-E-E-J-Y-M-A-D, or check out my website, DJMad.com. Boom.